Good morning, people of God. I want to come to you to speak on what God's been having me to read over and over again. The day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. The Lord's future to reign. The day of the Lord. It says, it's coming from Isaiah 2. And I will be reading from the New Living Testament version. And it reads, this is a vision that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the days of the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of all, the most important place on earth. It will be raised above the other hills, and people from all over the world will stream there to worship. This is the day of the Lord. And people from many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Jacob's God. There he will teach us his ways. He will walk in his paths. For the Lord's teachings will go out from Zion. His word will go out from Jerusalem. The Lord will meditate between nations and will settle international disputes. They will hammer their swords into plow shares and spears into pruning hooks. Nation will no longer fight against nation, nor train for war anymore. A warning of judgment. A warning of judgment is next. Come, descendants of Jacob. Let us walk in the light of the Lord, for the Lord will reject his people, the descendants of Jacob, because they have filled their land with practices from the east with sorcerers, as the Philistines do. They have made allowances with with pagans. Israel is full of silver and gold. There is no end to its treasures. Their land is full of war horses. There is no end to its chariots. Their land is full of idols. The people worship things they have made with their own hands. So now they will be humbled and all will be brought low. Do not forgive them. Crawl, they will crawl into caves in rocks, hide in the dust from the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty. Human pride will be brought down and human arrogance will be humbled. Only the Lord will be exalted on the day of judgment. For the Lord for the Lord, excuse me, for the Lord of heaven's armies has a day of reckoning. He will punish the proud and mighty and bring down everything that is exalted. He will cut down the tall cedars of Lebanon and all the mighty oaks of Bashan. He will level all the high mountains and all the lofty hills. He will break down every high tower and every fortified wall. He will destroy all the great trading ships and every magnificent vessel. Human pride will be humbled once again and human arrogancy will be brought down. Only the Lord will be exalted on the day of judgment. Idols will completely disappear. When the Lord rises to shake the earth, his enemies will crawl into holes in the ground. They will hide in caves in the rocks from the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty. On that day of judgment, they will abandon the gold and silver idols they made for themselves to worship. They will leave their gods to the rodents and bats.
while they crawl away in caverns and hide among the jagged rocks and cliffs. They will try to escape the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty as he rises to shake the earth. Don't put your trust in mere humans. They are as frail as breath. What good are they? This passage of Isaiah 2 is talking about the day of the Lord, the terror. The terror and the awful day of the Lord. He said at the end, don't put your trust in humans. Well, they are frail as breath. Who are they? You have to put your trust in God. Because it says here, it's the terror of the Lord. People will be hiding in rocks and, and rocks and caves because they have been serving idols. Idols are crystal balls. Idols are chakra. Idols are Allah. All these things. God is coming back the day of the Lord. So we must get our soul salvation right, people of God. Christians first. He will come to you. The day of the Lord is near. He continued to have me read this verse. Uh, the day of the Lord is close to a lot of you all because a lot of you all will be losing your life. You never know. So get your soul salvation right. Forgive anybody 